Ohio Wesleyan University in Delaware, Ohio, the spot for the 2014 Division III Outdoor Track and Field National Meet. On Thursday, junior Lena Baker trying to cap off her best season in the hammer throw with throws coach Sean Denard looking on. Here's her second throw, 52.04 meters. That puts her in good position for the final round. But by her third throw, she's passed over and sits 10th. Only nine women make the final, so she needs the best throw of her day to move on. Unfortunately, her third throw travels 51.43 meters. Baker misses the final round by only 0.25 meters. Eventual champ is Amina Avril from Williams, a school out of Massachusetts. Took third last year, but in 2014, she's the champ. Over to the track in the 3K steeplechase prelims, Ryan Root just qualified for this event last weekend, so he's coming in off his best performance of the year. In the event's second lap, Root gets tangled up over an obstacle and pushes him back. He can't recover and finishes eighth in the heat with a time of nine minutes and 23.51 seconds, putting him 17th in the 20 competitor field overall. Over to the seven event had Taplon, Jocelyn Redlinski finished first in the 100 meter hurdle, sixth in the high jump, and 17th in the shot put. The 200 meter dash is the final event of day one. Redlinski comes through with a time of 25.83 seconds, good for sixth place. She's also sixth overall with three events left on day two. Two Cardinals in the pole vault, just like the indoor national meet, Brooke Patterson and Liz Composto make the trip together. The bar set at 3.6 meters early on, Composto on her third and final try at the height. She can't quite find it. The junior still has one more year to grab outdoor All-American status. Patterson puts in a very solid day of work on Thursday here negotiating a bar height of 3.75. She nicks the bar with her left shoulder on the way over, but the pole vault gods smile upon her on this day. The bar sticks and Patterson grabs a PR. Next tied up is 3.80 meters, but just beyond Patterson's reach on her final try at the bar. The battle for the event's top spot comes down to two women. First, let's get a look at MIT's Simran Verdi. She clears 3.85 meters with ease. She tops out at 4.10 meters. The Washington University of St. Louis's Anna Etherington one-ups her at 4.15. The national runner-up in 2013 gets the top spot in 2014 with this top clearance, a PR, and a school record. Patterson ends her best year of competition at North Central with an All-American spot on the podium at sixth place. My goal this year is get All-American and I mean that's what I got this time. It feels awesome. This indoor season really prepped me for this because I didn't get it then so it pushed me to get it now. I felt really consistent all season so I think right now at Nationals is the best time to PR and get that mark and everything just came together at the right time and that's what you want so awesome. I mean Liz is one of my biggest competitors and it's awesome to practice with her each day and we push each other and I know next year is going to bring good things for both of us. Nora Ferguson qualifies for the national meet with the seventh best time in the women's 1500 meter race this season. She's in the second of two heats for the prelims looking to advance to Saturday's final. About 800 meters in, Ferguson carves out a spot in the back half of the group. Heading into the bell lap, Ferguson's still waiting to make her move. And her move comes in full on the final stretch of the race. Ferguson on the far left using up all the saved energy from holding back earlier. She shows a burst of speed for a time of 4 minutes and 37.01 seconds. She qualifies for the final. Johnny Crane, Troy Kelleher, Roger Klein, and Travis Morrison take up spots in the men's 10K. Crane holds the second fastest D3 10K time in history, finished second in Nationals last year. Distance alums Jonathan Moscone and Kyle Brady hanging out in the stands, getting a good look at the race in Delaware. 11 laps left in the 25 lap event. No NCC runners in the race's top 10, using a bit of pack running near the back. But with eight laps left, Crane makes his move to the front. Kelleher, Klein, and Morrison still waiting on theirs. Five laps left, Crane and Chris Stadler from Haverford are well in front of the pack. Kelleher is right behind Washington Youth's Andrew Paget for third. Klein not far behind either. Heading into the bell lap, Stadler has the advantage on Crane, but check out the final stretch. Like we've seen so many times before, Crane keeps a bit in the tank for the end. He absolutely blows Stadler away over the final 100 meters, grab his fourth track individual national championship with a time of 31 minutes and 11.83 seconds. 
Kelleher makes a move into his bell lap to finish third as a sophomore with a time of 31 minutes and 20.42 seconds. Klein in the event for a consecutive year, he finishes fifth, 31 minutes and 25.07 seconds. You know, he's been a great competitor these past couple years. You know, we've gone back and forth and, you know, it was kind of a... Uh, I was hoping that, you know, what happened at Indoor Nationals well, two years ago wouldn't happen. And uh, like I said, he's been a great competitor and I came out on top today. We sat, you know, at the back of the pack, but we weren't worried, we weren't freaking out at any point. So we just kind of stayed calm, kept our cool. And then um, just once the pace started getting hot, we got in better position. We had a little bit of trouble getting in position for a while, but um, once we were finally able to like move up, we just kept moving. And um, I think, yeah, our plan went exactly how we wanted it to go. We got the best position we could have in the scenario. And then uh, we knew the race was gonna break open about 5K right after that. And just sure enough, it did. And uh, we just started moving because we trained to where the 10K, the last two miles is the race. So we just kept that in our heads, knowing that we're going to start at two miles to go, and then it all just fell into place. I'm happy that I won individually, but watching Troy get third as a sophomore, and Roger fifth, uh, his first, um, his second All-American and his first in outdoor track, uh, that was just amazing. Just turning around and watching him come across the finish line, that was so exciting to watch. I, I could not believe it. When I was in eighth or ninth, I was, I was just kind of struggling, and then. I realized I put in four years of hard work with these guys that I love and I wasn't going to sit here and finish eighth. I was going to give 100% and catch as many people as I could, score as many points as I could. Dusk falls over Delaware for the final event of day one. Four by four relay prelims. Deontay Hackler leads the North Central team, also comprising of Mustafa Oloye, Zach Kirby and Derek Nelson, who hands off to Hackler for the first exchange. The field starts to get its positioning during the back turn of Hackler's leg, NCC third, behind Augustana and Washington U. NCC moves into second on the exchange to Oloye, and he keeps the same position on the handoff to Kirby for the anchor leg. Augie still in front. Heading into the final turn, Kirby is overtaken by the University of South Maine's Kevin Desmond Jr., but the final stretch reveals that Kirby gets the positioning right back. Cards turn in a season best time of 3 minutes and 11.60 seconds to qualify for Saturday's final. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was really exciting. I was getting interviewed by the NCAA and I told them uh, to, I told them to stop actually so I could watch them. And watching them get in is huge. That's a lot of momentum we built today on the first day. You know, I think we're sitting number one right now and I know other teams are going to eat into that and pass us. But we're sitting really nice for tomorrow um, with shot put and high jump and then we got that 4x4 four four and 5K on Saturday and that's going to be a ton of fun into the meet trying to you know, make up those points where other teams have gotten ahead of us and see where we can finish.